Hunter! Now that's not fair. I'm not the man who showed up at another man's camp with the intent of eating his horse. I'll eat more than your horse! <laughs> not with that stick in your belly, you won't. <laughs> you think this will kill me? No, but I reckon this will. Should I be expecting trouble from you as well? Uh, no, sir. No. On your life? Uh, on my life. Well then, have a seat. There's enough room around this fire for the both of us. Thank you, sir. Hungry? No, sir. I thank you, sir. Really? Union boy like you's gotta be a long way from home. Walking on foot, too. Uh, Ate at Drake's Crossing. Made about halfway to the Pennsylvania border for my horse slid out on me. Bolted? No, sir. Eaten, judging by what I found left of him. Hope you'll understand if I may have soured my appetite some. You headed home then? War's over. Well, this one is. How do you mean? As long as men are selfish, greedy, there will always be wars. The difference between yours and mine is I don't fight men. You soldier, then? Of sorts. A Pinkerton in one life. Spent my days protecting wealthy men from their subjugated masses. It was dirty work, but steady. That was a long time ago, though. Quit, huh? I'd like to say I found a higher calling. Uh-huh. I imagine you're curious. You did just shoot a man? Not a man. A monster. Now what do you mean by that? You drink? Well, I can. I've been known to. It's bitter stuff, but I find it makes hard <coughs> truths easier to swallow. What kind of hard truths? That there are monsters in this world. And while they may look like you and I, they're very much not. Oh. You want to hear a story? Sure. I was uh, born into a wealthy family. Raised proper. Learned good. But it wasn't meant to stay that way. One night I woke up to this god-awful scream. So I grabbed my sister and we run downstairs to find our parents torn to shreds. Some animal had just torn them apart. My sister said it was monsters. She said that she had seen something in the woods. I didn't believe her, of course. She was just a child, making up stories to explain the unexplainable. Well, the years wore on. As she took to reading and writing, I took to fighting and drinking. Years later, I'm working for the agency and I'm assigned to my hometown. Some animals torn apart three people just like our parents. The businessman wanted protection, same as ever. But what they didn't know was that it wasn't any animal. There were monsters. And every full moon, my sister became. You kill her, man. Well, she'd killed people, and I had orders. But what they didn't know was that she'd been writing this entire time. Demons, ghouls, banshees. She'd learned about every evil creature and put it in this book. A guide to the truths we don't want to hear. It's a powerful tool. You bet it is. Me and this book, we're gonna hunt down every last creature in this country so that no one has to suffer the way we did ever again. Huh. It's one hell of a campfire story. I thought you'd appreciate it. Never answered my question, though. Who's he? Him? A vampire. Land's lousy with him. Bastard thought he could sneak up on me for a quick meal. That's the thing about bloodsuckers. They're, they're tricky. 
Always looking for new ways to get close. Which reminds me, you'll have to excuse me for stringing you along here. It gets a bit lonely, and I appreciated the conversation while I could have it. <laughs> what do you mean? No reason to play coy. I know why you're here. You smelled the blood from your friend, didn't you? Thought you could score a quick meal. What the hell are you talking about? Never known a weary traveler to turn down a free meal, especially one who's seen nature's savagery up close. And I sure as hell have never seen a normal man's hand burn at the touch of a silver flask. Now listen here, you insolent Which little- Which I might have given you if not for the bullet holes. Two through the chest? You should be dead. But you already are, aren't you? Well, 